Hello everyone, Quinla Scarlet here, Prophetic Counselor and Road Warrior. This morning I wanted to talk a little bit about David and Goliath. Even if you're not a major churchgoer, chances are you've heard about the story of David and Goliath. And it's a great story. It's used a lot to encourage young people to understand that they can do whatever they want to do, um, that, you know, there are no limits to the power of God in their lives and, and how big their faith is. But one of the things that kind of gets me about this story is that many times what's not taught about is what David did before he got to his position of prominence. So in this day and age of microwave ability and American Idol and America's next top model, um, people seem to forget that there's a process. So even when people come to a place where they're extremely um, high up in a position or a category or um, a gifting, the truth is, is that a lot of work and a lot of understanding and a lot of learning have gone into that, no matter what age they are, when they reach that, um, prior to them being able to get into that position. And um, again, many times our society nowadays tries to make it seem like things are easy, they're quick, and you really don't have to do anything major um, to get into those positions. But let's think of it this way. So if I took you to the gym and I told you, pick up the heaviest weight and just start working out, um, that would be completely ridiculous because you don't know how the machines work. You don't know how much weight you can handle. Um, you don't know how to stretch or prepare your body. And chances are you would hurt yourself and burn yourself out and you'd be scared to go back. So, um, or let's think of it this way. If I told you to run a 10 K and you've never run a day in your life, or maybe you ran on the weekends, but you have no idea how the process works, how the stops work, you know, how the timing works. And you've never taken that process of doing um, long time training so that you can endure that race when it comes to it. Um, you would, I would be really, I would, it would be really ridiculous for me to expect you to go into that and be a winner in a snap. Um, because that doesn't, because that doesn't make sense. Um, everything that we secure comes with a process and people who get in places really, really quickly without going through the learning and the understanding and the training and the process usually have a really hard time maintaining. Um, they burn out, um, they make poor choices, they get hurt. And so, I just want to encourage everyone on the backside of David and Goliath. So yes, he was a very prominent figure and he ended up going to great heights with the Lord. But um, what we don't talk about a lot is that he was in the fields a long time for his family and he was doing hard work. Um, taking care of things and being responsible uh, behind the scenes for a long time. And he fought many hard battles, lions and bears. Um, and, you know, there was a whole bunch of responsibility, hard work, and the process that went along with him prior to him being anointed and becoming the king. So I just don't want for anyone to um, miss that. Um, don't miss that. Yes, there's absolutely a time when we can come into our own and we prosper and we become um, very, very um, prominent in our positions and our places. But the chances of us being able to maintain that and do it well really, really, really depends on how much we have placed into that process beforehand. Um, we don't want to just go out and go into places where we're making, where it'd be reckless and dangerous and ridiculous and we'd be unable to maintain it. 
Um, and I can tell you this, God wants you to be able to maintain your positions and your prominence and, um, your promises. So, um, yeah, don't give up on the process, the pro, the process, um, be faithful in the little things and God will give you much. Also, don't forget that God has awesome and incredible things for you and I don't want you to miss it. Take care. Bye.